Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, basically we'll be adding the AR support to the cube, which we have already built in the previous video. Just a demo of what we'll be building. Uh, so basically, when the user clicks on the enter AR button, it, the, but, uh, the cube will be shown in the real world, and that's it, I guess. And for this, what we'll be, I'll be doing is like I'll be using a package called React XR, which is again uh, supported by the people who are building React 3 Fiber itself. Okay. So what it does is like it gives you basically hooks and components for the building your VR AR applications. Okay, frankly saying there were not a lot of uh, what should I say question, uh, stack overflow answers etc. I had found I had literally went through this readme and done some hit and tries and I had to sometimes go to the source code also to understand how it works. Okay, and uh, uh, frankly saying. Uh, you can use uh, whatever is already 3JS is giving you, okay, with whatever we've already done. But I feel like this package uh, internally uses whatever 3JS is providing you. Basically, what you have, if you have watched my previous playlist, uh, WebXRV 3JS uh, playlist, then you might be aware about some of the things which 3JS provides. So these uh, packages under hood using those only. So instead of us again going about uh, interacting with 3JS, I feel this is a very easy way to in use AR in our application, okay, using this package. Uh, okay, so anyway, I'll be doing that only. So first of all, let me install it. Okay, I'll be installing a specific version of it again. Okay. React XR. At the rate of five dot two dot zero. And what I'll be doing is like first I'll do uh, I create a copy. Okay what a folder and just copy this component itself okay i'll try to keep the code minimal changes with minimal changes okay. xr cube and this will be xr cube container just add xr to both of them say xr cube container Okay, and uh, let's see now. So as you can see in the readme, uh, we have different kinds of buttons. Okay, one is the AR button and one is the VR button. So I'll be using the AR button. Okay, to give the AR functionality, as you can see, AR button. So what I'll be doing is like I have to put it alongside the canvas. Okay, and for that I'll first wrap it uh, so that I return one single root element. Okay. AR button. I just need to do save. Cool. That's it. I need to do. And uh, now let's see. Uh, again, as you can see in the documentation, you have to wrap whatever your uh, components you want to have the AR or WebXR support under the XR tag. So I'll just do that. Okay, and uh, this is it, I guess. And uh, let's see if something happens, something is working or not. First of all, okay. Uh, before that, sorry. Uh, let me add a route also. And this will be, I think, XR cube container. Let me import it. And let me give the default route to it also. Okay. Anyway, let me run it. Let's see if there is an issue. As you can see, seeing XR is not defined. Okay, I did not import it, I guess. As you can see, I have this uh, cube, okay, now rotating. And by the way, to uh, check out a WebXR application in the real world, okay, uh, basically, uh, not real world, basically, if you want to do uh, development. You can use an extension called WebXR, okay? It's freely available in the Chrome Web, uh, Chrome Web Store. Let me search it, WebXR, Chrome extension, and this is the one, okay? You can install it and uh, use it for while doing the development. And if you want to do a final test, you can check it out Check it out in a mobile, which supports the latest, which has a basically the latest Chrome browser. 
your Android mobile by the way. Okay. So that's it. Otherwise, you can feel. Uh, and after you've installed it, you have to come to this one, this uh, tab, and you have to click on uh, AR. Okay. It's very important. And you can close it and refresh it. Otherwise, you can do uh, remote debugging also. Basically, connect your mobile and do the debugging using Chrome, Inspect, etc. I'll just give a link for that in the description below. But I'll be mostly using WebXL for the whole playlist. Anyway, I uh, now the enter AR should come up. By default, you'll get AR unsupported. But uh, if the WebXL is enabled and you have the AR selected, op if you have the selected option as AR, you should have it. Okay, this enter AR button, and you can click enter AR. And I think you might be uh, the cube is literally like adjacent to uh, where you are basically at. So what we can do is like we can come here, we can make the uh, cube go a bit uh, on the negative z axis, which is towards uh, Inside the laptop, you can imagine like that. Okay, for that I can do is position Z. Okay, for and give it a value of minus something. For I will give it for now minus five. You can give whatever you feel. Okay, minus five. And then refresh it. Let me see something happen. Did I do some mistake? Can I properties of minus five? Oh, sorry. The position has to be given to the mesh. Okay. Okay, now again refresh it, enter AR and as you can see, you can see the cube here, okay, in the minus y direction, uh, basically, uh, we, we can see the cube basically, okay, and that is it, I guess, for this whole video, and I can do one thing, is like I can deploy also, Anyway, up to, I think it has been deployed. Let's see. It's yes, working fine, I guess. Yeah, cool. I think this was the end of this video, I guess. And in the next video, basically, we'll be adding a heat testing support, okay, to show multiple cubes based on the user's touch input. Hope to see you there in that video also, okay. And thanks, uh, and bye.